Hey, Blender Bob here following the custom specular clip I did last week. A subscriber Bill gave me a nice tip on doing iridescent shader, so I'm spreading the joy. Super easy reticent shader, take a layer weight, plug it into a color ramp and into the base color and that's it. If you use the facing, that means the color on the left will be facing the camera and the color on the right will be away from the camera. If you use a fresno, the effect will be seen mostly on the edges of the geometry instead. Now that's an iridescent shader. Thank you Bill for the tip. What else can we do with the layer weight? Plug the color into the emission and into the alpha and you got yourself an X-ray shader. That's pretty cool, but what else can we do with this? Here we finally find something useful to do with the magic texture, because I have no idea what else you can use it for. So, same setup as before, just plug it into the color and you got something that looks like bubbles, but we're not there yet. I mean, it's very similar, but it's, it needs more specular on the edges. So I created another shader, a principal shader, and I assigned a layer weight also on the color. So I get this nice here reflection, and you just add them together and you got your bubbles and I get a skull bubble. If you want to change the soap pattern, you can just animate the parameters for the magic texture just a little bit and you will see the pattern will change. Now you probably wonder why would I ever need an X-ray shader? Well, if you work in the film industry, chances are at one point you will need to do holograms and 90% of the time holograms are made with an X-ray shader. As for the bubble shader, you'll need it when you need to do Bubbles! <laughs> okay, so it's a three day weekend, I have a lot of time to work on my clips and I'm working on a big juicy one, you're gonna love it, so probably Monday in two days I'm gonna publish another one, so stay tuned! Cheers!